Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner, and I'm with the SolidWorks education team. In this video, I'll be going over the SolidWorks Trebuchet project. In the Trebuchet design project, students will build and design a trebuchet using SolidWorks software. They'll also use the integrated SolidWorks motion and simulation packages to visualize their trebuchet, as well as perform engineering analysis. These lessons focus specifically on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and explore concepts like algebra, geometry, weight, and gravity. The curriculum is broken down into five lessons. In the next section of the video, I'll go over each lesson and what is contained inside. In lesson one, students will learn how to use all the basic features of the SolidWorks software. They'll go through the basic tutorials built into the SOLIDWORKS software. Lesson 1, Parts, Lesson 2, Assemblies, and Lesson 3, Drawings. These will familiarize students with the basic use of SOLIDWORKS and build a foundation of skills necessary for completing the trebuchet. In Lesson 2, students will begin building individual parts that comprise the trebuchet assembly. They will develop their sketching skills using tools like line, circle, arc, and slot, as well as working on modifying and adding dimensions to a sketch. They'll then use SOLIDWORKS features such as extended, boss, base, extruded cut, fillet, and chamfer to create individual parts. Lastly, students will also learn how to apply materials to a part and to use PhotoWorks to apply appearance to a part. In Lesson 3, students will take parts from Lesson 2 and combine them into assemblies. Using parts they've already created, they'll learn how to perform mates, such as concentric, coincidence, parallel, and distance mates. They'll also learn how to move and rotate components within the assembly. Lastly, students will learn about SOLIDWORKS toolbox and how they can use it to easily insert different types of screws, washers, and nuts. In Lesson 4, students will learn how to use SOLIDWORKS simulation to help in the design of the trebuchet. The lesson begins with basic stress analysis and teaches students how to apply restraints and loads, create meshes, run the study, and then analyze results. Students will then modify their assemblies to remove some material and create a lighter weight part. Lastly, students will also use SOLIDWORKS motion to perform a simple kinetic and potential energy analysis of the trebuchet. They'll be able to graph the changes in energy, as well as view an animation of the trebuchet knocking over several blocks. In Lesson 5, students will learn about creating manufacturing drawings for their parts of the trebuchet. They'll also learn how to create bills of materials and assembly drawings for their final product. Other topics include exploded views, adding notes and annotations, balloons, drawing scale, and finally, students will learn how to save their drawings into the eDrawings format so they can be shared with anybody who downloads the free eDrawing software. That concludes a video overview of the SOLIDWORKS Trebuchet Design Project. For more information about using the Trebuchet Design Project or other SOLIDWORKS curriculums in your classroom, go to www.solidworks.com education.